the ideas that are to be sold to the people. And people will buy the ideas. So, I want to say also, thank you very much for encouraging this particular space that I've seen around here. <laughs> what we have done in the past, when we disagree and fight among ourselves, it has not taken us anywhere. We must go to disagree and resolve those things peacefully, like the way other countries do, 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 do that. And I'm thankful that the leadership in the state, from Lake State to Wau and Wara, and here now in North Baradal, all of you, the four states of North Baradal, I mean, of Baradal, are committed to implementing what the national government wants, and that is peace and stability. So thank you very much. Before I pass the mic on to Honorable Tempot to say a word or two, and then Honorable Honorable Shield, and that will be it on our side, because this is not the platform for us to say a lot. I want to say also that we will be visiting the rising scheme today. And as we. <laughs> when, when we visit some of your uh, state uh, officials, during the visit that are relevant, uh, we'll of course say one or two there. Uh, because that's a national project. And as I come from you, although it's not my role, what I see is what I can also uh, report. And of course, the work of Samsung in the future also uh, will have a plan, even just to come for us a piece of land, even one plan where we can try ourselves to see if we can plan. So, one project for the national government. See, all of us are told to innovate and plan. The bank can, can also try that. They have one be done to see if we can grow rise and contribute to this uh, productivity and stability that we see in there. So we will, we will work out a scheme on how to, 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 get, to get that. Now, as I go around, I'm going to tell uh, maybe I'll, I'll pass it later, the message that I'm going to pass, which I do not When I began my visit, my visit, I have also shared the leadership of Juba, including His Excellency President Santa Fe and he had indicated <coughs> to me two critical messages that are also commitment from the national government and that need to be communicated to the same leaders as I am. One of those is the bad idea of taking agriculture as the backbone of our economy. This is a message that the president wants to be told to his people. Now that 24 is here and we are approaching February, the month for planting or cultivating is around the corner. I would like to convey this message to you, to tell our people to go to farm. Because being so is very good for us in, the, in terms of security, in terms of food security, in terms of economic stability. And we don't elaborate further because this is not a platform to elaborate further. But farming is one thing that our president wants his people to engage in territory this year. The second one is the one around peace itself. While no one needs to preach to Northern Pakistan because you are peace loving people, a message like this also needs to be told. And as a result, the leadership wants all of us, wherever we are, to preach peace within ourselves, with our neighbors, so that in the end, South Sudan is a peaceful state. A peaceful state, a peaceful country can also help can do a lot of things, not just stability, but 